Hello guys, welcome to the next video on HTML tutorial for beginners using HTML5. In this video, we will see how to use tables in HTML. So let's get started. First of all, to add a table, you need a tag called table to add it. And inside the table, you have some more elements. So for every table, we have rows. So we need to add our table row element first. So just add TR, which stands for table row. Okay. And inside the table comes our columns, right? So for columns, you use a tag called TD, which stands for table data. Okay. And here you can provide your content. For example, we are making some table for name, surname and the marks scored by a student. For example, something like this. So the first column here is the name and the second column we are going to add is the surname and the third column we are going to add here is the marks scored by him. So for example, 90 marks right so td you can uh, think of it as a column tr is the table row and table is the parent of all right so you can add in the same way multiple table rows inside your table something like this one row below another right so right now we have a table with two rows with three column each right so we are going to save our code and refresh our page and it looks like this. Now you will see here there is no border in the table. So to add a border, you need to add an attribute to your table which is called border itself and you can provide here one then it will have the border. So save it and refresh your web page and it's going to give you this kind of a border. Now, if you want to stretch your table to the width of your browser web page, what you can do here is add an attribute called uh, style and add a, an attribute called width here. So width is equal to 100%. Okay. So just add 100% here, save your web page and refresh it and it will stretch to 100 percent okay now if you want to add a heading to your table what you need to do you can just add one more row something like this and instead of using td which stands for table data you can use th which stands for table head okay so th 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 for column and here also th th and th and here you can give some heading for example name surname and marks okay and save it and refresh your web page and it will give you the heading to your table okay there is one more uh, element which you can add to the table which is called caption so just add a element called caption and inside the caption you can give the caption to your table for example my name table okay save it and refresh your web page and it's going to give you a caption for your table okay now to add more styles to your table what you can do here is in your head you can add a style element and inside the style element you can add the style for a table for example so table and include table head and table detail here so th comma td okay and for example i want to remove the border from here and i want to add it in the style attribute here what i can do here is i can add a border like this okay so the width of the border is uh, 1 px and it's solid and it's black okay save it and refresh your web page and you have the same border now you can see here the border is of two lines right 
now if you if you want one line here you can collapse your border so you can add an attribute here border minus collapse and then add collapse here okay and save it and refresh your web page and it's going to collapse this border like this okay now one more property you can add here is the alignment for your text so you can add text minus align and you can align it to the left for example so left and save your web page and refresh it and it will align your text to the left you can do the same for the right so just add right here save it and refresh it and it's going to align your text to the right right so i will use the left one for now now there are three more special elements you can add to your table element which are table head table body and table foot okay and uh, these will give you the ability to have extra styles to your tables okay so for example for the table head you can add a uh, attribute like t head okay and just close it at the end of your row for your header right so end it here and same you can have the body so just add t body and it will add a body for your table and end it at the end of your body content it can have any number of rows right for the footer you can add an attribute called t foot and end it here and this is going not going to change anything in your table so when i save it and I, when i refresh it it's not going to change anything in the table but now it's uh, really easy to use them to change the style for example i want to change the style of uh, table head i can just use th for table head and then change the background color for example background color is equal to red okay and same i can change the style for table body and table foot so t body and color is blue and t foot and the color i choose is yellow okay and save your web page and refresh it and your row color has been changed okay now there is one more property called column span so that you can have uh, one column in two column spans okay so i will give you an example for example i want two headings and not the three headings so what i can do is i can remove this uh, middle heading from here and i can add an attribute called column span and i can give the span of two so th that it will cover two columns at the same time right and save it and refresh your web page and you can see now marks heading is taking two column spans like this okay so in this way you can use tables in html i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now